Welcome back to Just Facts Academy, where you learn how to research like a genius. Remember, you don't have to be an Einstein to be a great researcher. Just apply the seven standards of credibility from our first video series, and you'll be head and shoulders above the rest. Now, we're taking it up a notch. In order to research like a genius, you need to know how to search like a genius. 30 years ago, that meant going to the library, using the Dewey Decimal System, and pouring through books, old magazines, and microfilms. Today, we have the internet, which can release an avalanche of information with a click. But as savvy researchers know, it's not all reliable. In fact, the top search results for important issues are manipulated by corporations' opinions of what's credible and what's not. Need a disturbing example? Google released a document in 2019 revealing that it has been rigging its algorithms since 2014 under a program called Your Money or Your Life. In the words of Google, this program covers any issue that, quote, could potentially impact the future happiness, health, financial stability, or safety of our users. For such searches, Google wrote that, quote, we will give more weight in our ranking systems to factors like our understanding of the authoritativeness, expertise, or trustworthiness of the pages we present in response. So if you use basic search terms and don't look beyond the first 10 results, like most people, you're blindly trusting your money, your life, and the money and lives of your loved ones to corporate executives who may not be competent, honest, or even decent. As more people have realized this, trust in search engines has plummeted all the way from 73% in 2012 to 45% in 2021. So how can we find reliable information? Well, it's gonna take some effort because it's not as simple as just getting away from Google. Other search engines have the same problems. Furthermore, other engines don't yet work properly with some of the hacks we're about to show you. Use these tips to supercharge your search. One, look beyond the first page of results. Many searches yield millions of results. So if the issue is important, why settle for what other people want you to see? Ever notice how Google frequently presents a Wikipedia page among its top results? Yet, even Wikipedia admits that Wikipedia is not a reliable source. Two, perform tightly focused searches. You can do this by using quote marks to find exact words or phrases, operators like or and not to expand and limit options, domain limiters to search for specific types of sites, and date limiters to search for materials published in specific timeframes. Not too sure how to do this? Check out our handy notes that will quickly show you how. Three, modify your searches. If your first search results don't produce what you're looking for, ask yourself, what is wrong with these results? And then change your search terms. If that doesn't work, keep refining until you find that pot of gold. Four, use Google Scholar. Currently, the order in these rankings isn't as manipulated as Google's main search. Also, it cuts out a lot of the junk that is on the net, but sadly, it often cuts out some quality content as well. Five, quickly search through the sources you access with this simple trick. Use the find function. Six, be super skeptical of search engines and other platforms that censor and bury what they deem to be misinformation. Einstein warned that science can flourish only in an atmosphere of free speech. Some big tech execs may say otherwise, but I trust Einstein on this one. And seven, Learn from your experiences, bookmark and record websites that deliver provable facts, and kick those that don't to the curb. Finally, take everything with a grain of salt. Embed it with the standards of credibility we share in our first video series. There is no substitute for this, especially when lives are on the line. Applying these principles will supercharge your searches, allow you to quickly find what you're looking for, and help you to research like a genius.